Hi. So, hi. Um, <laughs> apparently, we have been sent more ice cream. Yeah. We, uh, we're going to do something fun with it. I'm so, excited. Well, you came up with it. I so, know, but I'm excited to do it. So I sat down and Dan said, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, as soon as I heard we had more ice cream, I'm like, well, we don't want this to totally be just a mukbang yeah. um, mm-hmm. pot thing. We want to actually, you know... Be doing other activities than just yeah. ranking food. Yeah. We've done that uh, a little bit lately. But we do also like to eat ice cream. We do. So how do we solve this conundrum when someone sent us a bunch of uh, ice cream they think would make us laugh? And we want to make use of it on the podcast, but we also want to do something more than just eat and rank. Yeah. Um, and we, we didn't want to do a tier list. Mm-hmm. Uh, we thought maybe we could do like an interview, like answer questions like we did with the hot wings. But yeah. You know, I don't I don't think that the ice cream will be so incredibly cold that we can't think properly and answer questions. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do, it is apparently murder themed ice cream. Yep. Or murder pun themed. Mm-hmm. And so you and I are going to tell a story. We're going to weave a tale of food heist. Um, and uh, each time a flavor comes out, that will affect what we do with yeah. our story. So we have no preconceived notions. We're going to get the first yeah. one, and it's going to be our seed for coming up with a, a mm-hmm. uh, our own food heist. Well, and Brandon mm-hmm. says that he uh, just found out about this when I told him. I found out about it about two minutes earlier. So yep. uh, if this is a giant disaster, <laughs> then... Then it, people will be getting what they expect from this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Um, okay. So, so. So let's go. Let's go. We need our first flavor of ice cream. Um, and, and there's eight, you said? There's 11. 11. All right. I've been, oh, my stars. Open immediately. Cold case ice cream. Open immediately. And it says evidence on it. That's pretty fun. Okay. So okay. did you guys already open this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So you so did open it immediately, but now you're this and we will not find like a bunch of spiders or something. <laughs> Are you, you you almost sound disappointed? Well, a spider themed ice cream could be fun. I can think of nothing worse than a spider themed <laughs> ice cream. Um, so okay, we, there's a black envelope, black envelope with a bunch of stuff in it. Um, oh, that's nice, including evidence bags. See what's in those evidence bags. Did you? Yeah. So uh, here's a golden spoon that is shaped like a shovel. Do you want to eat out of a golden shovel spoon? Okay. I don't know if that's what that's for. Um, I, I'm going oh, to wait, assume. wait. It's actually a game. It's actually a game. So Maybe we don't need to make up a bunch of nonsense garbage. You guys didn't read this thing? <laughs> Sorry, Octavia did, and she's not here. So okay. I apologize. Oh, Octavia sure. read it. She's Octavia not here. Octavia under the bus. Yep, always. Mm-hmm. Um... So wait, it's a murder mystery ice it cream. It is a murder mystery. Oh, I also have a, a shovel. So we have to actually solve their case. We have to solve their case. Rather than, well, I think we are likely to extrapolate anyway, because this is what we do. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, Cold case conundrum, an ice cream taste test game. <laughs> okay, okay. How to play. Objective. To identify as many of the mystery ingredients in each of the six cold case flavors as you can. Interesting. Okay. okay. Uh, reward bragging rights <laughs> and an official cold case officer ranking. Okay. Number of players one or more. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that if you are playing an ice cream eating game by yourself, <laughs> you need to talk to somebody. Uh, well, I'm right here and I feel personally <laughs> attacked by that. Oh, wait. I maybe shouldn't open this. Do not open. Well, then how are we supposed to eat? Oh, do not open if security, um, it's, yeah. Uh, if the security still But it closure. says do not open. It should tell us in the instructions if we when we open it. Um, well, supplies. Six pints of decadent cold case ice cream. So apparently mm-hmm. the 11 count was also, uh, we'll blame Octavia for that oh, too. We have another box over here. So oh. I, know, I know there's at least 11 different flavors oh. and 12 <laughs> pints. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, small cup or bowl for each player. We have not been provided a small no. cup or bowl. Mm. Uh, spoon, we have fork, for that. chopsticks for each player. We don't judge how you eat ice cream. Okay. Uh, piece of paper and writing utensil for each player. 
I think they'll record. I think we can yeah. we can do this in our heads. Mm-hmm. Uh, blindfolds optional. <laughs> oh dear. If you are by yourself eating an ice cream taste testing game blindfolded, <laughs> then then we you're need incredible to be friends. Yeah. Okay. Select a game commissioner. Uh, Adam, you're the game commissioner. Welcome. You're or, um, you're welcome. Or maybe I'm it's Commissioner me. Gordon. Is that what I just heard? Yeah. Game commissioner that will lead the players through the game. Note to commissioner: answers for flavors can be found in your black cold case folder on individual pages for each pint under the headings "Scene of the Crime" and "Evidence." So yeah, wherever that is, that's you. Do you have that stuff? I didn't. I don't think so. The only Is thing I saw here? were the two white pieces of paper right there. Those might be. Don't oh, read those. This, just the folded one does have the flavors. Hey, this is a letter. Uh, dear Brandon, Dan, and the Dragonsteel team, we send our condolences to everyone who was subjected to Joel's cruel ice cream torture last week. This box is a reminder of what good ice cream tastes like. We know the damage has already been done, but hopefully this can ease the pain and restore your faith in frozen dairy and non-dairy for Dan. Consider this a token of our gratitude for the fantastic content your team puts out. Long live the Butter Bandits. Okay. Well, don't open that folded one because that seems to be Okay, is that, that a that's for one? the commissioner. Okay. For the for the ice cream commissioner. Okay. Um prepare the 6 pints of ice cream. Make sure each flavor has been removed from the case and softened to a scoopable consistency. Scoop small portions of each ice cream flavor into separate cups or bowls one at a time. Uh, have players try each pint and write down as many ingredients as possible. Note, guess major flavors or mix-ins, not ingredients like sugar or milk. <laughs> <laughs> they have been around editors before. They I'm, have. I'm going to yeah. take this box and we're yeah. going to actually okay, do that. Okay, you're going to mm-hmm. do that. Yep, yep. Okay, players can use their sense of taste, smell, and texture to identify the flavor. You're not allowed to use your sight <laughs> or your extrasensory perception. Um, or your hearing. If you can hear like pralines, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, after testing each flavor, the game commissioner will reveal the ingredients in each pint. Circle each correct guess. Total the number of correct guesses and use the total to receive your official cold case rank. Oh man, I'm gonna be. Okay. I, I think I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna rank as the the green rookie. Who you know walks into the the murder scene and then is next scene barfing outside from um because it's too much to too handle. much too much to handle uh, their lowest rank on here is actually traffic cop oh okay so, oh someone who makes this ice cream got pulled over a few too many times <laughs> well, what are what are the ranks now people uh, are traffic going. cop corporal detective captain chief of police. And Sherlock freaking Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm shooting for at least Corporal. Okay. Shooting for Corporal. And uh, can I take that sheet as the mm-hmm. commissioner? I'm not sure if you still need it. Yep. I okay. don't. Thank you. Yep. Maybe I do. I don't know. Um, we have a scorecard here. Okay. Um, if someone gives me a pen, I can write down. Oh, you've got a bunch of pens. I kind of. Man, if only we had a pen at this table. If only this podcast existed. Specifically, so that I could, you know, um, I uh, I was thinking about signing the other day, mm-hmm. and I was thinking about uh, the fact that um, I will never be able to secretly switch to an auto pen. <laughs> if you don't know what an auto pen is, if you're listening, it's it's what the politicians use to sign all their documents, okay, uh, or all the not the documents, the letters. Stamp? No, it's like a it's a machine oh, okay. that duplicates a signature exactly, mm. uh, maybe even a little variance in it. And so when you get your letter from whatever favorite politician that you've sent a donation to or something, mm-hmm. and it comes back with a signature, they just have a pen going in the other room uh, signing that politician's signature on everything. It's um, it's very common in their world, not so much in the author world, mm-hmm. uh, though Ursula Le Guin invented 
a auto pen that you can sign long distance with. She, I think, even oh. got the patent on it. Uh, someone will have to double check me on that. But no, it was her invention that Ursula Le Guin invented a span read. Yes, um, <laughs> the the long pen. I believe she may have even called it that. The long pen, uh, which That's is the cool. idea that she signs, and there's an auto pen machine somewhere else that is tied to that. And that's, I mean, I am almost certain, it's been many, many years, that that's where the idea for a span read came from, was okay. from Ursula Le Guin, because she wanted to be able to do a book signing for people when she was not well enough to go to the signing. Mm-hmm. And so you could, you know, basically have her on the phone chatting with the people and signing their books. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So um, mm. you may want to double check me, yeah, fact check that me that. Right now. Um, but uh, this is the story as I remember ah. it. And, you know, my memory is uh, sometimes flawed. That's okay. But I'll never be able to switch to doing what the politicians do because everyone expects me to sign their pages live. Oh, well, live not on live. camera. Sometimes live on camera. Uh, but either way, on camera, someone, someone's going to get this Bands of Mourning right here that I just signed when they, they buy their copy later this year. That's pretty cool. Mm. Um, Ursula Le Guin long pen doesn't actually yeah. return any results. It's not, uh, am I getting uh, um, long? Maybe, maybe it's not N- Ursula, maybe it's uh, Margaret Atwood. That's too science fiction y for Margaret Atwood. Yeah, don't you think? Um, I sometimes, because those two had their dialogues w- during the era when I heard about this, um, where they were doing, but I think it was Ursula. Um, huh. Uh, Ursula Le Guin remote signing also yeah. doesn't get anything. Mm. So I don't long know. What pen. To tell you. The long pen is, uh, that gets a hit. Margaret Atwood. Oh, so no. I did get it. I did get it mixed okay. up. Uh, it was it was Margaret Atwood, not uh, Ursula Le Guin. Again, I sometimes like I've read both of their works. I know them; they're very distinct. Mm-hmm. But when I was in college, Ursula Le Guin challenged Margaret Atwood for her kind of dismissive comments of science fiction, mm-hmm. and they had these big long dialogues in uh, some of the literary um, magazines that were going around. And so I'm not surprised that I mixed up who did the long pen because it happened right around the same time that I was reading these magazines. I think the article about the long pen was in one of those same magazines. One of those, yeah. Yeah. Probably. So Margaret Atwood invented uh, Margaret Atwood. a long uh, distance. Thank um, you. I assume she is an avid listener of our show. So yeah, let's uh, personally thank you, Margaret Atwood, for inventing the long pen. And I'll have you know, that she walked back a lot of her comments about science fiction after these discussions with Ursula. Um, Excellent. So, um, yeah. All okay. right. Okay. There we are. So, Dan, are you writing down both of your flavors? I'm going to write. We're going to communally. Oh, it's a. Co- uh, okay. We're collectively trying to do this. All right. All it right. is a head to head, though. Before okay. I. Before you're, you're I. You're not allowed to use your sense of sight. It said on the paper. I think that sense of sight was implied. Okay. It fine. was allowing the others because okay. this. This definitely looks like a a cookie butter, um, or or a some sort of cinnamony, uh, buttery mix. Mm-hmm. That's definitely a cookie butter cookie rather butter. than just like yep. graham cracker. That's Biscoff, um, okay. uh, cookie butter. Uh, so number one, uh, I don't know what we're gonna name this. Uh, ah. There's a little blue hat on this pen. Yep, there always are. Wow. Okay. Um, you said cinnamon. And as you well. I don't be... know. I was look. I was visually identifying cinnamon. I'm not sure. Like cinnamon seems to be a part. Um, like I'm. I'm not getting strong cinnamon. And you guys should be using your fancy spoons. Oh, oh. Should we? I didn't know if we were supposed to open those. It says tamp. I think that's just for okay. They came with spoons on them. Donald, why did you bring us spoons? We were supposed to deduce that we need to use our spoons. This seems like the kind of joke Donald would play. That's yep. my fault. To I specifically so. say, mm. they have fancy gold shovels they could eat this with. Um, so if you're doing this together... Somebody come open my spoons. Yeah. If, yeah, if you're we'll doing it together, I can like um, write to your guesses this? down and score as well. Okay. Or am I just an idiot? Uh, or Brandon both. used scissors. I use scissors. What? Yep. Um, but they talk about there being multiple ingredients. 
Yeah. So it's got to be more than Biscoff it's gotta, cookies. It, it's got to be Biscoff. But the problem is what the flavoring of the ice cream is is strongly overwhelmed I will never by the, the cookie butter. I will never eat anything without this golden shovel. That is the perfect gift for you. It's so cool. Yeah. Okay. This is head and shoulders above most of the ice creams that we had in our last <laughs> test. So, Crossing off cinnamon. Yeah. Definitely putting vanilla on here. Do you think? I think there's vanilla in it. Are you having some, Adam? If they bring some to me, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I expect a golden spoon. Get a shovel out of the garage so that he doesn't feel left out. I mean, we got the obvious one. I think there's going to be an um, an, an obvious one. I think it's going to be um, like um, ginger or something like that. <laughs> Does ginger usually in a, a Biscoff? It's in gingerbread. I feel that little hint of something, something like that. Um, mm, I don't know. I mean, there could be vanilla in that, but I'm I'm not honestly able to to taste yeah. it. Um, uh, there's we'll, we'll just head off whatever eventual argument. There's like an actual name for cookie butter that has like two O's in it. Mm -hmm. um, and if it says that, we, we get just, it. We get it. We mm -hmm. count name Dan and Brandon. By the way, um, do we want to name this flavor? There's a space to name the flavor. Oh, it's going to have a pun. Oh, it's yeah. going to be cookie butter pun themed pun. Mhm. Mm mm. What's the name what's the name of the cookie butter? It's got some goofy name. It's like recluse. It's not that. It's but it's like that. I don't know. Flavor. Yeah. This could be like gingerbread cookie butter. Speculus. Speculus, that's mm -hmm. right. Um I'm going to call this one Suspectulous. Ah, well done. There you I go. I approve. Well done. Um, and were you guys voting vanilla or no vanilla? I mean, do we get points off if we, if we, it doesn't we say. No. So no we off. might as well, anything that we mentioned. Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> we'll put them all on there. Cinnamon's back <laughs> on the list. Um, <laughs> ginger. Um, horse. Radish. Just horse? No, I was just going to say horse. I'll add horseradish, too. Horse? You know, um, I had a... I mean, if we don't get penalized for wrong guesses... Yeah, it's true. We I, it I had a, a good friend um, that I knew who was Mongolian, and he extolled the flavor of horse meat. Well. Uh, and horse milk. And, I mean, when you, you come from a step people whose grand heritage involves uh, the greatest nomadic horse lord culture um mm -hmm. on earth i think that perhaps the the horse you use all pieces of the horse you use every mm -hmm. part yep okay um okay i added wasabi on there too just in case <laughs> horseradish just to be specific <laughs> we got them both do we want to, to make a guess that's like maybe accurate <laughs> the, the... i might have to start taking points off if these are the guesses <laughs> You you don't get to do that. You you're you're the you're the cream yeah. commissioner. You're yeah, not the need, cream president. I need a commissioner Gordon ice cream pun. Dan. You are which branch of the ice cream government are you? There's already a pun and and it's alliterative. Okay. The ice cream commissioner. Um but so you're not the ice cream judiciary. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the imperial ice cream commissioner. Mm -hmm. I'm adding graham cracker even though it's wrong. Mm, just in anyway, case. Yeah. All right, okay. let's go. Let's get him. Get the next one. This will this will help us with the ne no no no. We need to find out what this one was first. Do we? No, I yeah. think we go all the way to the end. No, I think it's way more interesting as we're talking about because people won't remember yeah, on the that's podcast. True. So, so I will read this one. Yeah, okay. read us this uh, one. They named this one flight risk. Flight risk. I like yours more. Okay. Um, but this is vanilla base with Biscoff okay. cookie crumble and Biscoff swirls. So, okay. Dude, so there's only ka two things. Yep. Ka ching. Okay. The two that we got are correct. See, I was thinking they would try to hide more in there mm. to make it more difficult. Um, and so we have to know now that we're really only looking for two or th maybe three flavors. So if we get one that's like 
This one has raspberries, blueberries, and several lightning bugs. <laughs> several lightning bugs, eh? Okay. What's this for? Well, this is this oh, is thank you. Okay, this one definitely has like some yellow cake in it or yeah. something. No, that's uh that's just a, a sugar cookie or a snickerdoodle. Don't you think? Yeah, but I don't think it's um cinnamony enough to be a snickerdoodle. No. It's just a sugar cookie, probably. Just all mushed up in there. Yeah. This one has sugar cookie. Ooh, I just got it. I actually got a hint of cinnamon, I think. I'm going to put cinnamon on all of them, aren't I? Mm-hmm. I just like cinnamon. So, remember at the beginning of this, we mm -hmm. promised we were going to tell a murder story. Oh, oh, oh. Snitcher doodle. It's a snitcher doodle. Snitcher yes. doodle. Love it. Snitcher doodle. Okay, so they... Found the Suspeculus. <laughs> someone, someone was drowned in Speculus <laughs> and cookie butter. <laughs> someone snitcherdoodled on the mob. Mm -hmm. See, we got rival gangs. These are two cookie flavors, right? We got rival gangs. Do you think that that you might be right that that's not a snickerdoodle? But don't don't you? No, because there's definitely there's some in it. In it. You're absolutely okay, right. right. Um, so is it just sugar cookies? So what's cinnamon? the, what's the base? Well, I mean, I think it might be vanilla again. It, it doesn't taste enough not vanilla. Mm-hmm. Is it just cinnamon ice cream with a cookie One of the, mushed these up These days they'll, they'll have like a, like vanilla adjacent flavor, like sweet cream or something like that to, mm -hmm. to try to get us. So... We should always write sweet cream, cream and vanilla as our base is just, in, just to cover it just in case. Vanilla, sweet cream. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. I think it's just sugar cookies and cinnamon. Yeah, with some sort of base, but a very mild base. Okay. All right, hit this. All right. Okay, this is a snickerdoodle cinnamon base with homemade snickerdoodle cookie chunks. <laughs> we are so good at eating ice cream. Wow, we are not going to be corporals. We're um, we are way past traffic. Yeah, what top. what what? We gets... have already passed traffic. Since top. this is twelve pints, I am going to double the point allotment. Oh, because we're just going to do six of them. Yeah, because we'll run out of time. Okay. Okay. So where where are we? We we. How many points? It depends. Are we counting Snickerdoodle on that one? It seemed like he switched it. I no. kind of wrote down everything you said. Which we was we right. were definitely mm -hmm. on Snickerdoodle yeah. at the end. Mm -hmm. We were we we nailed that one. So, how, how do we have like uh, four points? So have, you are now corporal. We are now corporal. Yeah. How many of the max points? Um, max points. Uh, it's twenty to twenty-five for Sherlock freaking Holmes. Twenty to twenty-five, but we've gotten every everything so far. Yeah, basically. So, uh, so, uh, so, um, I don't know if you're counting the points right because, um, if we're going to get to 25 and six, then there needs to be an average of three points. Um, well, they've said the four. base every time. Yeah, there's the, there's actually there's got to be four ingredients in each one. Or maybe and the later so ones the, get harder. The first one is vanilla base yep. with Biscoff cookie and Biscoff swirl. So okay. I kind of only think there are two flavors in that one. So I'm doing two points, okay. which you both got. How would you Doubled guys? Doubled to eight, to four points. Could oh, you use that? I think this is based off of six pints. That's after six? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was going to double the points required because they sent us 12. But if we're only going to get through six. Yes. Uh, uh, we're we're definitely only getting through six. Yeah. We're at 23 <laughs> minutes right now. Yeah. So we can do the other one another time. All right. Okay. Well, this is just strawberry ice cream. I don't think there's anything else in it. That's strawberry. Yeah. Yep. That's. Um, but it needs a cool pun name. What was the real name of the snickerdoodle one? Not as good again. Not as good as Snitcherdoodle? Sin City. Sin City. Snitcherdoodle was fantastic. Snitcherdoodle. Feel free to change your names. Mm-hmm. Okay. We should not be putting down the names of the people that sent us free ice cream. <laughs> your names are good. Your ice cream people. You can't feel bad. That's that right. The professional writers <laughs> came up with professional really good names. Professional bad pun makers. <laughs> 
Okay, what's a good pun on strawberry? Okay, um, straw man berry? That's where my mind yeah, was going, obvious. but it's more political yeah. than crime. Mm -hmm. um, straw battery? For bad... <laughs> Assault and strawberry. Assault and strawberry. <laughs> there we go. Uh, assault and strawberry. Yeah, I, I, I like that one. Or assault and straw battery. What sounds better? Uh, I like straw battery. Straw battery. I think that the pun on that one is tenuous enough that we need yeah. to give the extra hint. Assault and straw battery is what I've named this, and strawberry is the ingredient that I have written down for it. Are they going to be sneaky on us? And so I'm this is de definitely it seems like on here, like I don't think there's raspberry or no, anything else it, hidden in there. It really tastes like strawberry base with actual strawberries. Like there's real strawberry in that. So it's strawberry base with frozen strawberries mixed yeah. into it. Is my guess? My guess. I'm gonna just write squared next to strawberry. Okay. All right. What so do we got? This one. Let me make sure I'm live. Um, this one is strawberry to live. Oh, oh, theirs is better. Theirs is better. They totally uh, win this one. They nailed that one. And this one is five pounds of farm fresh strawberries mixed with our sweet cream base. So oh, I forgot to tell you to put sweet cream on everything. Uh, I told you the last time. They were going to sneak us. Uh, I knew they okay. were going to do it. I knew they were going to get and us. And they did it. And we even thought of it. We were lulled into a false sense of security by just eating strawberry ice We cream. are not going to be Sherlock freaking Holmes. We might. We were so close. So what What would, is strawberry and sweet cream and strawberry chunks? Yeah. So we got it's strawberry a, and it, strawberry it's chunks. It's just a sweet cream base with strawberries. Okay. Well, yeah. So we were only at five. Oh, we're plus at, at they five, totally beat us on the thing. Five out of a total of six possible is yeah. where we are. We've missed one. Okay. Yeah, this I actually one, don't know how they're doing their point system on this because... To get 25 on six pints, I think, is impossible. Is this peanut brittle? Well, When there's two or three flavors that they mentioned. Yeah, yeah and they need to get to four. Yeah. Um, so. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that's, that's a butterscotch, isn't it? I don't know. I just have some hard chunk of something. I haven't tried mm. it yet. I don't have any of the hard chunks. Judge, I need some of the hard chunks. I need a praline, whatever that is. Is that a praline? Bring Brandon his hard chunk. <laughs> this one's odd. Because that's not quite um, um, a caramel and not quite a butterscotch. What is it, Dan? I swear there's some kind of brittle, like a peanut a brittle. A peanut brittle? Mm-hmm. I believe Donald has found you a chunk. Okay. Is there a chunk in there, Donald? Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Have you brought Hopefully. the man his hard chunk? <laughs> no, I don't got chunks. You were going to have to rely on you for chunks, Dan. Uh, I think we need to get Brandon a chunk because I think it's important. Yeah, for naming this, I don't know that if, without... Can I just name this flavor, bring me Some... a hard chunk? <laughs> as silly as this sounds, I, it's, it's seeming chunkless. So you got the chunk. There was one chunk. That can happen, you know. One chunk. Uh, the, there's something to this flavor. It's not... It's like a caramel. This is an odd one. Hey, Don. Hey. Come try some of this. You call you in a ringer? Yes, I am. I'm phoning a friend. There's something weird about this flavor. What is it, Don? It's just butterscotch. Are you sure it's just butterscotch? It's an odd butterscotch if it is. There's something else with it, I think. Pretty feel like. Caramel? Write down caramel and butterscotch and sweet cream and vanilla. Try try <laughs> this one. I'm not okay. sure if there's a chunk in there, but it kind of here. I'll okay. Just caramel. Maybe the butterscotch. Butter. Check, check that. Um, sweet oh, oh. cream. I got a chunk. Okay. Vanilla. It's a honeycomb or something. It's a honey? Honeycomb. Ooh, like the British honey, honeycomb. And I'm going to write honeycomb. Salted caramel? Oh, don't, don't give us hints. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm going to write yeah, no. salted. Yes, 
Oh, you are yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, you, I if you don't know what it is, you're uh, you're totally on the okay. team. We're recruiting Dan, the audio man. <laughs> Dan and uh, my wife Dawn is here off camera, so she is also. That is really important. Out. What that is, that crunchy thing. I'm gonna say honey. Get me honey on there. Yep, honey's on here. Okay. It's like a yeah, yeah. It's the honey. Okay. The name of this flavor is Bring Me a Chunk of Butterscotch and or Honey. Um, or Honey, I Killed a Man or something like that, right? Like, um, if it's if it's Honey. Honey, I Killed the Kids. <laughs> yeah, Killed the Kids. Yeah. <laughs> honey, I Killed the Kids. That's a, that's a good title. Not very family friendly. No. Well, honey, I Killed you know. the Mayor. I, honey, I killed the cream commissioner. <laughs> um, okay. What else could we do with honey? Would be. <laughs> All right, we got to um, move on. I we... didn't like her honey, but her scotch was great. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. Okay. What what is it for real? So the name of this one is Killer Bees. Yeah. Oh, honey. And this is homemade honeycomb ice cream. Bam. So nailed it. Yep. I, I needed that, I needed I, that crunch. The chunk was very important. Without, without that. Okay. We had to it. get the chunk. Yep. So okay. we um, nailed that one. Yeah. Well, how many points do we get for that? Honeycomb? I, that's the only flavor they mentioned. So I think we have to give four maximum points per one. Yeah, I will And you have to assign to them yeah. okay. because we're going to get to 24. So uh, I'm giving us the win on name. For honey, I killed yeah, the kids. Yeah, Killer Beast is a little is good. It's but a good name. It's a little too obvious. Okay, okay. Here okay. you go. Well, our first chocolate, and also the first time I've spilled on myself. There's a thing in this chocolate that visually looks like gorgonzola cheese. So I hope it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it on the paper. <laughs> no. Doesn't that look like a little like a gorgonzola? Yes. Yeah. Gorgonzola cheese. Okay. Man, there are big chunks in this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they're crunchy. Is that a rice puff? It looks the shape of like a uh, rice check. It's a something. muddy buddy. 100%. It's a muddy buddy ice cream. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. So our dreams of steak and gorgonzola cheese ice cream <laughs> did not pan out. I think out. it's a Muddy Buddy ice cream, although you should r just write down a rice crisp just in case I'm projecting. But Muddy Buddy is usually a peanut butter, um, white sugar, and Chex. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not getting Chex out of this. This is absolutely Chex of some is kind. It? Yeah. Okay. Like it, it even has the right shape. Oh, Yep. There's definitely peanut butter. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Okay. So I have oh. written down gorgonzola, muddy buddy, chocolate, rice checks, peanut butter. Anything else we need to add to that? Twix. It could be a Twix muddy buddy. Crunch. If I were gonna throw a curveball, I'd use I'd crunch up some Twix and make a muddy buddy out of it. Mmm. You got chocolate, right? Yep. That's not white chocolate on the outside of that Muddy Buddy, is it? Okay, hang on. I just got the weirdest flavor. Which, for all I know, is gorgonzola cheese. Like there was a savory flavor in there. Was there? Yeah. That's and odd. I have to hunt through this again. The savory flavor, huh? Are we on the wrong track? Did we just visually say they look like Muddy Buddies? And we, we went the wrong direction? I swear there's peanut butter in there. Maybe that's the savoriest. You got a bit. I don't know if this is going to be as enjoyable for all of our listeners or viewers as it is for me, <laughs> but I really enjoy this. You really enjoy watching yeah, me fun. analyze? <laughs> Look, you're right. That's totally, yeah. Yep, there it is again. What is that? There's some kind of like soft, gooey thing that is not sweet. 
I don't. I'm gonna just call it cream, maybe. Oh yeah, it makes weird when we put sweet cream. They might be hiding sweet cream in this again. Hide sweet cream. Yeah, they might be hiding vanilla. Okay. Like, we need to name this flavor. Uh huh. Yeah, muddy buddy. I mean, buddy in the mud, buddy in the like. Is there some sort of shallow grave? Shallow grave. <laughs> <laughs> muddy buddy. Um. Shallow Grave is a pretty good... Um, it's not a pun name. It's not it's a pun. It's a pretty good name. It is a pretty good name because it's dirt and there's there's a buddy in the dirt. I'm going to write Shallow Grave, but I'm also going to write Muddy Body, which I believe Taylor said. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, a good one. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a really good one. Yeah. Slightly risque as well, so... <laughs> All right. That's a, that's a point. Okay, uh, you guys are going to, I think, love their name. Yeah. Okay. It's Serial Killer because Muddy Buddies are made out of checks. <laughs> oh, how'd you miss that one, Dan? Serial Killer because every person that's ever yeah. read my books has told me that pun thinking they're the first person to have told me that pun. And you have a t-shirt based on it. You still should have been able to guess it. I know. I should have. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give you full points on this one because this is homemade Muddy Buddies in our chocolate base with peanut butter swirl. Yeah. So you were just okay. tasting the peanut butter, Dan? It was just the peanut butter. Yeah, there's just a little bit of salt in a peanut butter, and that's okay. what was getting you. Excellent. I was pretty sure of Thank that. Thank you. This looks like a um, looks like a cheesecake um, ice cream. Yeah, this is going to be a strawberry cheesecake or something. I already did a strawberry, so maybe <clears throat> this is going to be a raspberry. Mm. This is a sherbet. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm, it is. That's pineapple. Mm-hmm. What's the red thing? This is a, a lava flow ice cream. I, do you, ever, you know what a lava flow is? Mm-mm. It's a pina colada with um, strawberry swirl in it. Okay. It's definitely strawberry and pineapple. Mm-hmm. So make sure you get cream on there. <laughs> I don't think it has cream in it. Um, you know, that's part of how you make a um, a, a pina colada is cream, right? Sweet and condensed sure. milk. Um, strawberry, pineapple, cream. I'm writing sorbet on here. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything else in it? No, that's definitely ra- uh, strawberry. That's not raspberry. We'll call it love is the final ingredient. Love. What's, what's a good <laughs> love? I'm writing love on here. Um, do we have a name for this one? Hmm. Let's see. Lava flow, huh? Blood flow. Um, blood flow. Yeah. Very appetizing description. Mm-hmm. Um. Arg, Stra- we I can't do a strawberry pun. We already yep. had one. Mm-hmm. Pineapple. Pineapple. You could do a pineapple pun. You could just name it unnamed pineapple pun. <laughs> Undisclosed pineapple pun. Um. By the way, I'm totally between shallow grave and serial killer on the last one. I'm I'm giving the win on the name actually to muddy body. Because mm-hmm. that was that was my favorite. And Serial Killer is... Serial the, Killer is very good. It is the better name for their ice cream brand. Yes. It's just we've heard it too many times. Yeah. Um, okay. Is, this is our last one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We need, we, need, we, need, a, we need a killer name oh! for this one. Okay. Um, Dineapple. <laughs> it's a triple pun because you're dining on it you're and you dine, on it and it's and, an apple. Oh my gosh, dineapple. How do you how would you spell dineapple? I would put die dash n. That's what I wrote. Apple. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Dineapple. I'm 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 really proud of that one. Dineapple. Any anytime you can get a double pun in your pun like that. This this feels like a song from like baby metal or something. Yeah. Dineapple. Okay. What is it? What do so we got? So this is our first dairy free ice cream. So yep. you were correct on that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, its name is Miami Ice. Miami Ice. Okay. 
And this is a fresh pineapple base with strawberry jam swirls. So full points, yep. which gives you a total of 20 points. So congratulations, Sherlock freaking Holmes. Okay, we did it. Sherlock freaking Holmes. I'm going to write that on the top. Is it freaking or freaking? <laughs> it's important to know if there's a G on the end of that or not. I did not put a G on the end. I put a freaking an apostrophe. Okay, there you go. Well, hey, um, I so, was worried that we would do very poorly at that, that they would hide like yeah. secret ingredients, but they're all pretty they were good like, flavors. That uh, mint and also, did you have a favorite? Um, I think I don't know. The muddy buddy one was really good. Yep, but it was very sweet. And I'm not really a sweet. I think the first one. Okay. I'm just a, I, a fan of cookie butter. I think I might go with the last one. I really like myself a nice, uh, mm -hmm. nice virgin lava flow. Yeah. Um, whenever I go to Hawaii, that's what I'm ordering. So. Um, okay. And in terms of names, mm -hmm. you and I got uh, four points. And Taylor got and one. They got one, and Taylor got one. But they get kind of a half point on serial killer. Yeah, we should give them serial killer. But Taylor but gets a Taylor gets a point. Taylor gets a point for muddy body. Yep. Um. So anyway, everyone watching, uh, this is cold case ice cream. Well, this is Rockwell ice cream. Rockwell ice cream. This is just a this a is, branding this that is they did. a thing that they have the cold case conundrum, and you can play this game. That so, was pretty, we assume. pretty cool. We assume. We don't know if they I'm actually sell this. assuming they didn't this. make this just for you yeah. guys, but... <laughs> Maybe they did. <laughs> Who knows? They spent all this work just for us, and then we just made fun of their names. Hey, who's Holmes and who's Watson? Do we make Adam Watson? I think we make Adam Holmes, and you and I are both Watson. Okay. <laughs> How was that, Ben? Ben.